This is uh, part one of Raymond Sun. Raymond's a mathematician that developed this type of uh, approximation for integrals. So the uh, general idea is that if you don't know what the function is or if you can't find an antiderivative, um, what you're going to do is uh, approximate the exact area by putting rectangles either inside or outside of the curve. So in these two cases, um, we're having rectangles that are inside. But more specifically, uh, this would be on the left called a left Riemann sum because each rectangle is uh, touching the curve on the left. So the height of the rectangle is based on the value on the left. And this example over here on the right, the rectangle is uh, touching the curve on the right, so it's going to be called right Riemann sum. So that's a the general idea is that you want to put rectangles that approximate the uh, the exact area under the uh, the curve. So the, the first definition is the first type of Riemann sum. It's called a uh, left Riemann sum, where each rectangle touches or uses a left endpoint. And I'll kind of explain what this means uh, with an example. So all these examples uh, deal with the table of values, so we don't know what the exact function is. We're just given some assortment of values, and we're going to approximate the integral using a, uh, a Raymond sum. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is kind of sketch to see what this function might look like. So I go ahead and plot these uh, points. The first thing I notice is that it's not evenly spaced out. So we're going to have uh, different rectangles of different width for each of these. So over here at 1, the height is 5, so let's say 5 is over here. Over here at uh, 3, the rectangle is a little bit um, higher. The next one's going to be 5. 6.2 is a little bit above that. At, um, let's say, 8. Let's put that a little bit further on down. So 8 over here. So the rectangle has a height of um, 8.1, so that's even higher than that. At 9, it's 8.9, so it's a little bit higher than that. And then uh, 13, 15. So I can see that it's a uh, steadily increasing uh, function. All right. So let's say the other uh, function looks something like this. I'm going to connect these this way. Right. Now, since it's a uh, left Riemann sum, each rectangle has to use a left endpoint. What I'm going to do is I want to have six rectangles. Is I want to have this rectangle used for the first one, for rectangle from 1 to 3. I'm going to use the left endpoint, and that's going to be rectangle A. For rectangle B, I'm going to use this endpoint over here and go across the 5. This is going to be rectangle B. Next one's going to be rectangle C. Rectangle uh, B. Next one is going to be rectangle E. And the last one is going to be rectangle uh, F. So these are my uh, six rectangles that I have. Alright. And so for rectangle A, the, uh, the width of it is going to be uh, two spaces, so it's going to be a two. And the height of it, the height of it is the function's value at one, which is given to us in the table, so it's going to be uh, times five. For rectangle uh, B, the width is going to be uh, two, and the value is the function's value at three, which is given us in the table as 5.4. The rectangle uh, C. Now this width is a little bit bigger. It's going to have a width of 3, and that's fine. They don't have to be evenly uh, spaced out. And the height of C is the function's value at um, at 5. So the function's value at 5 is uh, 6.2. So again, where I'm getting these values is this is the function's value at 1. This is the function's value 
at uh, 3, which is given to us on the table, the function's value at 5, which is 6.2. For a D, it's going to be the width is 1, and it's the function's value at 8, which is uh, 8.1. For a rectangle at E, the width is uh, 4, and the value is for E, it's the value of the function at 9, which is uh, 8.9. And then the last rectangle is for rectangle F. This has a width of uh, 2. And the value of the function at 13 is 12.9. So, from there all you do is add all this up. Now, you would add all this up on a graphing calculator and once you punch all this up and add it term by term you get a, a total of 108 108.9 now I've already added this up separately so that's how I got my answer so quickly as I added this beforehand so you would say the approximation from 1 to 15 is approximately 108.9 now, the reason I didn't use the function value at 15 was because the last rectangle touched on the left and it was the rectangle at 13. So I never got to use this value, which is uh, often the case. Um, you're going to skip over one of the values on the table because, well, the rectangle just end right there. So there's no need to use this one because the last rectangle only uses the value at uh, 13. Right. Now, for part B, the uh, question is asking if uh, this is an over or under approximation. And since I went ahead and illustrated or I, I sketched a rough example of what the graph looks like, um, I can see that all these rectangles are underneath the curve. So all this area that's unaccounted for is going to create an under approximation. So R108.9 is an under approximation to the true value because all this extra space is not being accounted for. And the reason uh, for that is that the rectangles are underneath the increasing curve. So you could say that rectangles under an increasing a curve. So that's it for that example. Now, example two calls for a different Riemann sum, and I'll put up the uh, right Riemann sum. A right Riemann sum is where the rectangle, um, each rectangle uses right endpoint. It's sort of like in the very uh, beginning, I made up a rectangle that's such on the right, so that's what a right Riemann sum is. So there's another uh, set of values that you pause it and copy it down. I want to use the right Riemann sum with the five subintervals. So again, first thing I don't want to do is uh, kind of sketch this so I know what it looks like. So at zero and eight, let's say that's where eight is, then it's going to go to a ten. So here's uh, at one, then at three it's going to go to nine point uh, three, so maybe somewhere in between. So it's one three at uh, four. Right around there. So let me back up here. If I want to call this one eight, let's put eight down over here. This is roughly where eight is at. Um, four to eight, it's going to go down to four, so about halfway. And then at ten, it's down over there. So I guess the graph kind of increases and then decreases and then decreases. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now using the right Riemann sum, um, the very first rectangle is going to touch this. So from 0 to 1, it's going to be on the right. So the first rectangle is actually outside of the curve. So here's rectangle A. The next rectangle from 1 to 3 has to touch on the right. Like that. So I'm using these type of endpoints. And this one goes over here. 
this rectangle, this is that B, C, this rectangle, and the last one goes over here, and it's going to be rectangle at E. So this last one is, uh, is kind of small because it's close to the, uh, the x-axis, so that's rectangle E. And then from there, it's just a matter of adding all this up. Going through that's the same process. A, B. So for rectangle A, the width is uh, 1. And I'm using the value of the function at 1, which is given to us in the table of 10. For rectangle B, the width is uh, 2. And I'm using the value on the right, the value at 3, which is uh, 9.3. Rectangle C is a width of uh, 1. Value on the right is the function value at 4. So that's 8.6. And the rectangle D is um, a width for rectangle D is 4. And the value at 8 is also 4. And then the width is for E is a 2. And then the value is a 1. And then I go ahead and add all this up. I've already pre-summed this. This is going to be 55.2. Um, so you could say the approximation from one to 0 to 10 of h of x dx is approximately 55.2. Uh, all right. So it's not very complicated. All it is just really um, drawing out the rectangles, basic arithmetic. It's just kind of time consuming to draw all this. and add all this up. But conceptually, it's just an approximation and mathematically it's not very difficult. And uh, that's it for this video.